What up, what up, Salty Crew, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be showing you four different ways and or recipes on what to do with almond pulp. Almond pulp is the stuff left over after you make homemade almond milk, and a lot of people don't know what to do with it, but that stuff is golden. It's very valuable. Almonds are expensive, so you need to find ways to use it. Of course, you can add it into breads, muffins, granola, but there are some other more fun, exciting recipes and things that you can incorporate it into so today that is what I will be showing you how to do so if any of that intrigues you just keep on watching I'm gonna start by showing you how to make homemade almond milk in case you don't already know it's very very easy and I am gonna show you how I make my recipe that is so delicious so so delicious I could drink the entire thing in one sitting it's a sweet recipe so if you want to make just plain old almond milk, unsweetened, nothing added to it. You can just blend together water and almonds, which you will see how to do later on in the video. But if you want to learn how to make a sweeter version of almond milk, then here's how you do it. The first step in making almond milk is soaking your almonds. So you're gonna soak your almonds overnight in the fridge for 24 hours, and then you can drain them and place them in your high-speed blender. Using a high-speed blender when making almond milk is really important because it blends everything really nicely and makes everything as smooth as possible. So along with the almonds, you can add some pitted medjool dates, vanilla extract, cinnamon, a pinch of salt, and cold filtered water. And then you can blend on high for three to five minutes until everything is as smooth as possible. Now it's time to use our nut milk bag. A nut milk bag is what you use to make any sort of nut milk, so you're gonna strain it through this. And if you don't have a nut milk bag, that's fine. You can use a thin dish towel or a fine mesh strainer instead. So you're gonna pour your almond mixture into the bag and start milking, baby. You're just gonna gently squeeze until all the liquid is out of the bag and all that's left is the almond pulp. And you'll probably have to do this two or three times depending on how much almond milk you're making. And don't worry, I will leave all of the exact measurements and the full recipe down in the description box below along with the other recipes that I'll be showing you how to make today. So now that we made our homemade almond milk, let's get into what to do with the almond pulp. The first thing we're gonna make with our almond pulp is almond flour, and if you buy this, you know that it's very expensive, so it's a lot cheaper to make it at home yourself. So you're gonna spread your almond pulp on a parchment paper lined baking sheet and place it in the oven at 170 degrees Fahrenheit, as low as it can go, for about three to four hours, or you can just leave it in there overnight or one to two days, let it dry out, and then you can blend it up until it's nice and fine. And if you mix in a tablespoon of coconut oil with a tablespoon of maple syrup to half a cup of almond meal, you have gluten-free, dairy-free almond streusel. And you can put this streusel on all of your baked goods. I'm putting mine on lemon blueberry muffins. I didn't get any video footage of the muffins after they came out of the oven, so I'm gonna insert some pictures here of the finished product. Next, we're making some double chocolate chip cookies. So for this, you're gonna need one cup of almond pulp and then mix in one tablespoon of coconut oil with two tablespoons of maple syrup, a quarter teaspoon of vanilla extract, two tablespoons of sugar, one tablespoon of shredded coconut, half a teaspoon of baking soda, half a teaspoon of baking powder, half a teaspoon of ground flax, and a quarter cup of cocoa powder. Mix until well incorporated and you don't have to worry about over mixing it because there's no gluten in the flour. And then last but not least, you can fold in a third cup of dairy-free chocolate chips. Form them into little cookies and place them on a parchment paper lined baking sheet. And I went ahead and pressed them with a fork like you would peanut butter cookies just so they look prettier. And you're gonna place them in the oven at 350 degrees for about 35 to 40 minutes.
The last recipe I'm showing you how to make is almond pulp hummus. Obviously you wouldn't use sweetened almond pulp for this. You're gonna use unsweetened. So you're gonna need one cup of unsweetened almond pulp, a quarter cup of chickpeas, fresh parsley, fresh cilantro, one teaspoon of cumin, three to four cloves of garlic, a quarter cup of tahini, a quarter cup of lemon juice, and salt and pepper to taste. And then you're gonna blend in your food processor. Scrape down the sides and blend again. And I like to add in a couple tablespoons of the chickpea liquid to get things moving and to add a little bit more flavor. Thank you guys so much for watching this week if you like this video you know what to do give me those thumbs comment down below and let me know what you think of the video which recipe you are gonna try and if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel I post lots of food videos like this and sit down videos where I talk about my vegan lifestyle and my opinions and thoughts on veganism in general so if any of that sounds appealing to you you should definitely click that little red subscribe button down below so you don't miss a video don't forget to take care of yourself this week eat good food and I'll see you in in the next one. Bye.